Uh, welcome to the regular scheduled council meeting for February 6, 2023, 6.30 p.m. Good evening, Mr. City Manager, Chief, and Mr. Gar Deputy Garman, not Mr. I'm sorry. I'll and take the, you. And our, and our, and our audience, our yep, audience is here this evening. So. So. Uh, Mr. Bridge will be filling in for Ms. Yeah. Uh, Burner this evening, yeah. so if you would call roll, please, sir. Sure. Uh, Mayor Lowry. Here. Vice Mayor Grimm. I'm here. Councilwoman Hagelson. Here. Councilman Lindsay. Here. Councilman Roadwall. Here. Councilman Bond. Here. Councilman Cook. Here. We have seven members present. Thank you very much, sir. And tonight's invocation will be done by Fire Chief Trustee. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
question? Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. <clears throat> Even if we do get those numbers, I think we still should put it out for bid and see if somebody can beat it. Your numbers? Last time we did that, it did not work out in our favor. Well, I understand that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. My recommendation to you is kind of work with the numbers that you have because council actually graciously uh, amended the contract a little early for them not too mm -hmm. long ago mm -hmm. to collect. Um, um, we are with Rumpke where I'm at and it just went up $7. So when you put it back out the market, you're going to have to take what you get. And sometimes it doesn't work out for you. Uh, but again, council can make that decision after we have the renewal rates in front of us. Um, and then you guys can weigh all the options. Okay. Yep. A new parks and rec building maintenance position that is up for council tonight on ordinance 2023-07E. We had discussed that during budget discussions. We are excited for this position to start. They're gonna focus on parks maintenance and building maintenance. So all your flower beds, you know, so we won't have an episode last year where we had weeds in our playground equipment or we had weeds in our flower beds. So we're gonna hire dedicated specifically for that. We already have an in-house applicant that's probably gonna take that. And then we re replace that position with industry department. 2023 board rosters. Um, I originally thought we we're gonna have more than just uh, one, but we actually do only have one. The tax review board is now a two year term, not a one year term. So with that being said, we only have one member up of the planning board up for renewal. And that is uh, Mr. Fields to the planning board. Planning board is a three year term. So we need a motion to approve that. Second. Well, I got a first motion from Mr. Grimm and then Give me a second. I did. Okay. There was, there was a lot of talking. So Mr. <laughs> Vice Mayor was your first and Mr. Lindsay was your second. Okay. So I'm going to start with Vice Mayor Grimm on the count and just work my way down from there. Vice Mayor Grimm. Yes. <laughs> Councilwoman Eagleston. Yes. <laughs> Councilman Lindsay. Yes. He's all over the place. Yes. Councilman Roadwald. Yes. Councilman Vaughn. Yes. <laughs> Councilman Cook. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Passes 7-0. Thank you. Good assist, Chief. Thank you. Yeah, he, he's having was, trouble adding tonight. I was making sure I didn't miss anyone so I wouldn't get called out. <laughs> no, nah, that was the order you did. That was enough. All right. Back to you, Mr. Bridge. Friendly reminder, uh, City Council special meeting, Tuesday, February 28th at 6.30 here at the Smith Park Charter House. That is uh, purpose to discuss the Park and Recreation Board and placement of residential trash cans. Just so a uh, friendly reminder, we're pressure on that. That is an ordinance that council tabled until we can have further discussion on it. Also, uh, the second friendly reminder of the evening, financial disclosure forms. We did mail those out. Hopefully you guys have got those in the mail. If you have not, let me know if you get the new one out. Just please adhere to those submission deadlines. And that is all I have for the city manager report. Be happy to entertain any questions. Sir. Mr. We're talking about the uh, ethics, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Done. <laughs> <laughs> I got the email before you got it, probably. <laughs> Mr. Life I have a question. Mm -hmm. I've been meaning to bring this up for some time, but this ordinance is coming on standing in parking places. It's appropriate. Okay. Main Street between May and between Jefferson and Washington. Oh. Two hour parking. Okay. Can we make an exception for people who live on that block? Mm, that's for council to decide. Is that by or is that two hour by ordinance or by I'll have to research that, but if it is local ordinance, council can change that. Usually when you have parking limitations, it's usually something that council can do at the local level. Okay. Or you can believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a darn garment. <laughs> I, I hear he's a bear. I would never. Do not. You can't park in the back of your building. Because yeah. I think when you, I mean, just a like frank can. conversation. I think you're going to open up. How are you going to distinguish between? Well, I guess you can run tags to see who lives on Angel and stuff like that, yeah. right? I do when there's something going on on Main Street. Yeah, but it's sure. a pain in the neck. I bet. I understand. Um, yeah, but I'll have to research that and then council will have to, like I said, if it's not a local ordinance, then we'll have to look at a, a direction to move forward. But if it is a local ordinance, then, you know, that's something you guys can change if you choose with as a, as a governing body. Thank you. Mr. Cook. 
<coughs> what would be the possibility of issuing a special parking permit to those people who live downtown that would have to park on Main Street? Again, that's for council to decide. Uh, special permits, that's something we have to monitor in house. So I'd rather just have an exception through the actual code. That way, then they run the tickets that's already there. First, us every year have to reissue that park. And we do that right now. Like we have a, a, I can't remember the street, but someone had requested a special handicap parking thing out, outside of their house. And we have to renew that every year. So it's it can be time consuming. Not saying it can't be done, Mr. Cook, but I think we can get a, a very similar solution just by amending the, the code a little bit. Well, there are only three of us that live on that yeah. block. And I think by now the deputies know our vehicles. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you're right. Right now they have every right to, to tag you. Is that the no parking? Is that an ordinance or is that state? It might be a combination of both. Some of the some of our code we're going through this for the 90th time with our mayor's court bond schedule. Some of those are enacted by local ordinance and some of them have ORC section. So you can actually see that on the bond schedule because we list the city ordinance mm -hmm. and then we list the ORC section. If there's no ORC <coughs> section, it just says city ordinance. So some of those are ordinance. But we are a charter municipality, so we are able to you know, create our own rules. Maybe we should just remove them. Remove what? The new parking. There is no for two hours or whatever. There's not an actual sign. Oh, there is no parking overnight. Mm -hmm. I think no. I think there is a two two hour parking. Yeah, there's a two hour parking limit on yeah, Main Street. Yeah, you. I think you want some sort of yeah. turnover there mm -hmm. for businesses, um, but I think for the residents, which is not a lot of them, um, they can carve out that exception. But I think it's common to have these kind of limitations on the Main Street, especially front of stores, um, because there's some other people that we can tag that park there all day that, you know, maybe could park elsewhere to help businesses out. So. Um, but I think when we restrict the residents who live down there, that's almost an undue hardship, especially if they don't have any off-street parking. I know Mr. Grimm does, but it's not convenient. And then the apartments across the street, I think they're at the Liberty Parking in the municipal lot or the or on Main Street. Um, and like Mr. Grimm said, there's not a lot of people that live down there. And then there's one that lives above the old company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mr. Cook. While we're on that subject of parking, we seem to have a habitual problem up there on the north end of Zimmerman. We've got cars parked there without plates. Mm -hmm. hmm. I guess I don't understand if we have an ordinance, there's no plates parked the wrong way. Go ahead. Um, because that's our 400 section, so only cops can side under that. And for us to get parking tickets delivered to us has been a nightmare. So what you see in front of you that's amending has been about a 14-week process when we even get to this point. So right now we have located a company that can produce our parking tickets. It took me probably 12 of those weeks just to get a hold of someone at the facility that actually mm. printed those tickets. So that's what they're in the process of doing, and you are correct. But right now, they don't have any tickets to, to cite them. To hand. Mr. Cook, so like, he's right there. We don't have our own city of New Carlisle parking tickets, but what I can do, if you get with me after this is over, tell me the address of where that's at, and I can, uh, I'll put it, we have a, a city of New Carlisle 48 hour moving notice that big orange sticker vehicles. yeah that if it's not moved within 48 hours then they're towed but let me some of that's on his private property there too and dave's tagged him recently so i'll see where dave's at with that process we've tagged him a few times but we would tag him if it's but on isn't street. isn't a car without plates illegally parked and supposed to be impounded and towed mm -hmm. Yeah, Under that's state law. where yeah. you're getting the tickets for that now. Yeah, and, and, you, it, and it is, but we try to at least give people the benefit of the doubt saying, look, well, you need to move it within 48 hours. Trying to give them the courtesy of that. Um, and if it's not moved by them, it's done. <clears throat> There's a lot of things with the mayor's court that it was started so quickly that we're still playing catch up. Um, and that's just the facts. I mean, we started that mayor's court to get low-hanging fruit. 
So we're going to build into this, and that's exactly what I said. Since the get the mayor's court usually take two years to get it going. We got it going in months. So that's why we see these amendments of the bond schedule. That's why we see these new things coming up. So it is a work in progress, and I think we can always see a result now. I think the tickets have started to go yeah. up a little bit yeah. with the issuing of that, but the big component is is getting those parking tickets done. Um, but again, it's just been a nightmare to get some things done nowadays with um, print, anything print really. Did you say a timeline on those tickets? It's been, I've been working on this now for about 14 weeks. But I mean a delivery time. Um, it's about about four to eight week process once okay. we get back. I just, I just didn't know if I overheard it. Yeah, it, it takes some, yeah, it'll take some time. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone else? All right, and back to you, sir, for uh, no resolutions, ordinances. Oh, I'm sorry. No, nope. hold on. Hang on. Mm -hmm. I did that a couple of weeks ago. Comments from members of the public. Yes. Any comments? Please to the podium, sir. <clears throat> I don't know who I am anyway, but I'll tell you. Steve Field, 1000 Edgebrook Drive, New Carlisle. Wow. A lot of you people know what I used to do here for a living. Uh, Mr. Garman, 45202. Police may remove the legally parked vehicles. That's an abandoned vehicle. It's not licensed. It can be towed immediately. I know I did it for 14 years. Okay. Okay? Them trucks, them cars that Mr. Cook's talking about has been sitting there for a month, not moved. What was the... They had the orange sticker on the back one day and the boy come out and scrapes it off. Okay. Okay? okay. It's time they go. Okay. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Fields, they, we don't have tickets for them to issue it on. That's what we're going how are you going to cite them in the court? If it's not licensed, then they can tell it. They have to it doesn't have to have a ticket. It can be removed. What was the address on Zimmerman? Corner. Is, that, is it Zimmerman 52 Lake? I don't know. It's the, you like, to issue a ticket for this. I, I think I'm familiar with the resident, stuff Donna, stuff We've arrested him on sort of warrants and stuff before. Oh, yeah. If it's unlicensed. If it's unlicensed, it's unlicensed it's 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 it can be moved in On private property. It's not, not on, on, the street. on the street. Oh, street. On the street. <clears throat> not on the private property. Yeah, it's you can go on private yeah. property and do that if you want to lawsuit. Mm -hmm. That's why I was saying don't when do that ticket. We get down yeah. here, I'll drive over there. No, I mean it's it's that I mean truthfully it's a safety hazard yeah, too, because it's, it's parked so close to where the stop sign is that yeah. I mean it's it's tied to get one of the rules will park backwards. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Anyone else in the audience? All right. Thank you, Mr. Fields. One day. All right. Uh, two ordinances, Mr. Bridge. Uh, ordinance 2023-07E, introduction, public and hearing action tonight. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to execute a memorandum of understanding that amends the current collective bargaining agreement by adding full-time parks and a building maintenance position and declaring an emergency. So moved. Motion by Mr. Lindsay, second by Ms. Eggleston. Councilman Lindsay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just going to go down my list. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Vice Mayor <laughs> Grimm. Yes. <laughs> Councilman Roadwall. Yes. Councilman Cook. Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Bond. Yes. Passes seven to zero. Thank you, sir. Move good, yeah? Move good. Oh, yeah. Oh, he has to read all this now, don't he? <coughs> all right. Let's read the rest for the record. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Ordinance 2023-08. Introduction, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on February 21st, 2023. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to execute a memorandum of understanding that amends the current collecting bargaining agreement regarding union wages. Ordinance 2023-09. Introduction tonight, public hearing and action on February 3rd, I mean February 21st, 2023. An ordinance amending section 23803 of the codified ordinance of the city of New Carlisle regarding the division of fire. Ordinance 2023-10. Introduction tonight, public hearing and action on February 21st, 2023. An ordinance establishing compensation for the tax administrator. Ordinance 2023-11, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on February 21st, 
an ordinance establishing compensation for the director of public service assistant so, uh, slash assistant city manager. Ordinance 2023-12, an ordinance established introduction tonight, public hearing and action on February 21st, 2023. An ordinance establishing compensation for the finance director. Ordinance 2023-13, introduction tonight, public in hearing and action on February 21st, 2023. An ordinance establishing compensation for the city manager of the city of New Carlisle. Ordinance 2023-14, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on February 21st, 2023. An ordinance amending section 452.03 of the codified ordinance of the city of New Carlisle that addresses prohibited standing and parking places. <coughs> Ordinance 2023-15, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on February 21st, 2023. An ordinance amending section 452.08 of the codified ordinance of the city of New Carlisle that addresses selling, washing, or repairing vehicles upon a roadway. Ordinance 2023-16, or, uh, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on February 21st, 2023. An ordinance amending section 2021-36, that establish a schedule of fines and costs and bail bonds scheduled for the city's mayor's court. Awesome. Thank you, sir. So we've got down to other business. Um, before we read that, I read that. I had a couple of things. Unless council had anything else I want to go over. Mr. Cook. I have a uh, TCC meeting on Friday, which I'm not authorized to drive yet. So I'll have to have my replacement which i think yeah. is you <laughs> nice try mr cook <laughs> so well, if bill wants to go it's fine. you know i, I will not be attending that meeting <laughs> if somebody you know needs to go in my place uh, the backup would go and i think that's mr. Yeah, yeah. Oh, probably yeah. after that i'm hopeful that wednesday we'll find out a little bit more about my health concerns that's item one. Have we heard anything about the shelter house? Uh, it got approved to go out the bid, hopefully this week. Okay. All right. Have we uh, have we thought about adding shredded to our uh, normal? I guess the word is city cleanup day. Amy Hopkins, get a hold of you. <laughs> <laughs> that's something council wants to do you all can do that but we don't have it budgeted um it doesn't cost all that much last time we did it you know how many people showed up but no. i will say this i think last year community cleanup we had a few people ask about it but how much did it cost do you remember i can't remember it was it wasn't cheap well the mobile shred it oh yeah yeah it was cheap. last and oh. final thing but i think if we Sorry, Mr. Cook. I think if we were promoted a lot better, we might have a difference. I don't need to lock that up. Mm -hmm. Last and final thing yeah. I've got, since we're talking about changes in the charter, is it going to take a uh, amendment to the charter to use the possibility of Zoom for a council person to be able to enjoy the meeting, participate in the meeting when they have such an illness as I've got. Um, From what I've read and remember, it's, it's, it's not up to us, it's the state that sets that. And I don't think you can- You can't change it. You can't, you can't, yeah. That's okay. in person. It's gotta be in person. Mm -hmm. Unless there's that stipulation where like during COVID you could, but that, that's been explained. Well, but being a charter city, I didn't know whether or not we could possibly do that I was discouraged he actually took that away because I think a lot of governments were getting a lot more participation oh, yeah. by having the online meetings. I was kind of hoping it would stick, but unfortunately it, it doesn't. Yeah. I think he brought it back for a little bit. He did, he brought it back when we, we can always have the meetings in your living room. We can have them in your living room, the council meeting. Just bring it yeah. to your house. We could probably do that. <laughs> have it in your patio in the backyard. I don't know that we'd have room for the crowd, but. <laughs> well, you know, this crowd is pretty rowdy, so I don't know if you'd even want them at your house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Mr. Cook? I'm done. Thanks for anyone else. Yes. Sure. Nice, Mayor. Have we given up on offering donors to council? 
I was just thinking about that the other day. I don't know if we wanted to wait till it got warm again, or do you want to? I, I would huh? wait till the farmer's market was open. The oh. last one was great. Thanks. I'm open to doing whenever. I, I love it. I think it's a great thing. Farmer's market doesn't start till what? Oh, what? Late May. June. Yeah, May or June. You start it now. If you like it now. Right. Well, here I'll give you guys the first date. May sixth. Saturday. Is that opening day? <laughs> opening day. Got a stable building. I'll bring them all to you. When you want to do it. Did we get a better turnout here? I think we had a better turnout here than we did yeah. the new building. We did a, the new building just so people could see it. Mm -hmm. So it's a good market. But I don't think, was there a market day though? I don't think it was. Market, did the market start that day? Oh, it was. Yeah, it was. Well, we had we had really good turnouts here. What do you think? 18th or 25th? I'm not on the 18th. What month are you talking? February? February. Oh, that's a year. Yeah. Do I have to be involved? Yes. No. Thank you. <laughs> oh, whatever date works out for it. You're years ago, that boy. No, not anymore. <laughs> you, you <laughs> not gotta, on Saturdays. You gotta stop at Bill's and bring donuts up. Okay, no. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. As long as, I'm not, football, as long as it's not during football season, I'm fine. No, I can get them. Are you sure? Okay. But Bills? you're gonna go down and get Bill's? Wherever you want me to go. Yeah, no, it's fine. No, so I can at I can at least get them and drop so them. So I mean, it's halfway. Yeah, I was I was joking. I, I don't want my college football Saturdays to be impacted by their uh, Bill, you can't do either day, the eighteenth or the twenty fifth? I can't. No. Okay. Uh, March. Okay, so March. What about the fourth? No. You guys are having it here, right? Oh, let me shut some of the house Bill Bill he's gonna I, I will be sending an email up tomorrow to you, the vice mayor and the city manager. And that's all I'm going to say. Okay, Peg, the fourth. I uh, should be a little bit lagged on that. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll check availability with the shelter house first before we start double booking. Let me try to you everyone's calendar I on here. All right, doing, <coughs> what is it, May? March, March, March 4th. March, March, March 4th. March 4th. Mm -mm. You have no Saturdays in March. You have no Saturdays in April. It's our building. You have <laughs> no Saturdays. <laughs> the only thing I can do on the 4th is call and see what time they're going to be here. No. Um, um, you can do it on a Sunday. Um, Sunday fire station. I'm sure Ooh. fire chief would love to host you down yes. there. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. That's a good way to get the kids can come and maybe. And you can start showing people your stuff that love it. There you go. You get fingerprints all over the equipment. station. He a good guy. Yes, he is. Thanks, fire chief. <laughs> <laughs> he's like me. I'm out. It's that's why he's so the, the fire chief. The fourth at the fire station. What time would we usually do it? Are you back on the fourth? Did we do it at nine? Yeah. I get back nine. on the twenty seventh. Yeah, that's nine. good. Nine to noon. Nine to noon. March fourth, right? March fourth. Yeah. 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 That's after my email game. Huh? Nine to noon. What time? Nine to noon. Coffee, donuts, <coughs> and bring your kids to, to play on the fire truck. Garmin will be there to. To show how handcuffed. Have we, we, we have we normally went through all the donuts we've got for the most part? Yeah. yeah. No. No, we just. So maybe three dozen this time. No, go more. We like you know. Mike, you're good Mike's for on three. donut diet. He's literally at five. Because he'll eat two. Well, you get gems because they're as big as your head. Gems. Those donuts are nasty. All right, no one. No, we didn't win. It's seven o seven o'clock. Do you need a motion for that, Mr. Bridge? Do you all want it? No. You want to pose? Okay. No. So March 4th, 9 to 12, fire station, coffee and donuts. Yep. I'll get with, uh, I can help out. Just, oh. Okay. Good call, sir. Anything else? Anything else? All right, I had a couple things. Um, <clears throat> I spoke with Mr. Bridge earlier this morning or today about his backup. I know we've discussed before a backup um, clerk. I know originally when we talked about it, he just said that he would rather just do it himself because it would be simpler because you obviously know the ins and outs of it all. But um, he, I'd say we just uh, 
to make a motion to have you put an ad in the paper or whatever you think is the best way to advertise for it. Okay. I got to do other boards too, so I'll start in with that. If you're okay with doing yep. that. Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't need those. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You guys are okay with that? Mm -hmm. And there may be times, like, I, I, I don't like it. I'm going to be very honest with you. It's very hard to do this and then talk right. about the city, but even if the backup falls through, I can always, I can be a backup of the backup. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. About third string. Third string. Third string here in Ohio, we win national titles. <laughs> Hi, Dan. All right. How's the last two years gone, Randy? <laughs> <laughs> Not good. And then how, how about that basketball team? We, we just, I'm getting used to beating Ohio in sports. I'm telling you. It's, oh. it's, I should have not said anything. All right. The next, I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to do a, a proclamation at our next council meeting. I wanted to ask council, um, I would like to make a motion to do a proclamation at the next council meeting for some businesses. Second. You made the motion, right? Correct. I made yeah. the motion and second by Mr. Lindsay. Okay. Just so. call it how you want. So this is just a mayor a proclamation a motion to allow the mayor to do a proclamation at the at the next meeting, meeting. here. In That'd be what March. Or no, no, not even March. It's, it's Tuesday, February twenty third. Okay, so Mayor Lowry. Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm. Yes. Councilwoman Eagleston. Yes. Councilman Lindsay. Yes. Councilman Rudwall. Yes. Councilman Bond. Yes. Councilman. Yes. Council <coughs> yes. We'll pass it seven to zero. Thank you. All right. Anyone else before we wrap it up? Uh, let's see. Um, city offices will be closed Monday, February 20th to observe President's Day. Mm -hmm. uh, and then move into executive session to consider the sale or, wait, am I reading the right thing here? Yeah, we are. Okay. So we don't have to go into the executive session if council doesn't want to. We are allowed to if, we, uh, if you guys so choose. But it won't be, I won't ask you for any vote. It's just to really to gauge your guys' opinion with do you guys want to at least have a presentation for what I presented for you guys tonight as far as the habitat and the houses. So that's what it was. So if you don't mind, Mr. Mayor, I can give a little rundown of it real quick. So we can't discuss that in a normal meeting? Oh, you can. You, you can. can also go into yeah. executive session. You don't oh. have to go into executive okay, session. Okay, okay. Because yeah. you're not really getting to saying, yeah, we're going to do anything right. tonight that or not. I just want to know if, if council would be seriously entertained a presentation brought on by the county land bank, the habitat myself. Um, so they approached me not too long ago to do some uh, habitat bid about taking some land that's directly behind the uh, farmers, uh, the community garden, the original location of the community garden, um, that would extend Scott Street. But since then, uh, to do the utilities on Scott Street would have been very costly. But the county also had a, a couple million dollars allocated them to build some houses as well. So the county got with the Habitat who contacted us to do this bigger project. Instead of doing one house, they now want to do four. The issue is, like I said, on Scott Street, the, the new utilities have been costly, very, very expensive. So what they did is they kind of took a look at Madison Street when we tore it down. So what we have in front of you, you have an aerial of the whole Madison Street School area, and then you have a, a close-up. So they want to take 155 feet of that frontage on Madison, and we'll retain the rest behind it to put in four moderate-income houses. So this is something that's going to be very well-received in our community given the fact that we're about ready to build a bunch of, of, of houses that are not market, I mean, that are not affordable to everyone in our city. You know, so this is just a spin on that to, you know, to say, hey, you know, we have some uh, affordable housing in here. Uh, for this project to happen, what we are requesting is council donate the property to the land bank for that to happen. So that's one less expense they would have to incur. What that leaves us is four parcels that are tax, tax positive. <coughs> So being a parcel that we have to pay to upkeep, we now have houses on there that actually generate some tax revenue for the city. So again, in order for us to go into the next phase, we just wanted the council's opinion is, is there any interest with hearing the ins and outs of the <coughs> project? These would be houses similar uh, value as the rest of Madison Street? Um, I can't say that. We don't know that. We haven't got the ins and outs. But they have to be affordable for moderate income people to you know, that's what we have on the open street. Yeah, so it depends on where you're at, like the two houses next to it. Um, I know there's some houses in the area that are really big and nicer, but I think for the most part, it, it would hit the area. But it, that stuff really early really to get into. But I'm like, yeah, for sure. I think we should do it. <clears throat> Just take a vote and tell him to do it, because I know what Habit Hat is. I'm sure everybody else here does too. 
Excuse me. I got we know what the land bank does, mm -hmm. so I think we should just do uh, to save time. Uh, unless you really need it. somebody to come in and tell you what it's all about, I think everybody here knows we should just make the motion and give him permission to do what he needs to do as far as his four lots are concerned. And that's my two cents. So, Mr. Mayor, uh, Mr. Bond, I'd like to say something. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> well, you was looking at me, so I didn't know if you knew it. <laughs> Mr. Bond? My only concern goes along with Mr. Vice Mayor is just that whatever they're going to put there mm -hmm. is going to be complementary to the other houses in the neighborhood. Sure. Design, be it, you know, mm -hmm. value, that kind of thing. I, I think it's a great thing if we can make all that work. I think it's a, it's a fantastic thing. To do. Sure. So. I think we should hear them out. I, like I said, I, I don't know what the design is going to look like. I don't know what the values are going to be, but it's at least going in the right direction to get some information. And they're building new houses that look like old houses? They can. Yes, they can. <laughs> they can even torch them and they can look yeah. like they've been burned. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cook? Is this to utilize the whole area or just for four homes? Just, just, just 155 feet back from the road. So if you look at that. All right, now what do we do with the back part? That's, we can deal with that later. That's going to be open field. That's just there. There's still enough room back there that council wanted to put the city building or street department. There's ample room. Because you guys still own the other parts on the other side of Scott, the oblong one. So you'll have all the area back behind where the 155 feet is where they want to go back. You have all that back there and you have all the parcel over. Um, <coughs> To the left of Scott Street, which is that like rectangle thing. Yeah, I, I had the same concerns uh, as you gentlemen did. Um, I, I, you know, with the houses around it that are all, you know, very, um, you know, they're, they're not modern. They're, they're all brick and stone. And, you know, I would I would hate to see something going there that would just be total polar opposite of what's around there. I don't know how the neighbors would feel about that. I would I would like to see you know a mock up or a model of what their possible designs and layouts might be. I mean I love the I love the, the idea behind it. I just want to see what kind of houses they are. I mean I, I can guarantee it's not going to be they're not going to be brick houses. No they I understand that's that. expensive. Right. So I know Habitat just got done one doing one in Springfield. And Urbana. And Urbana. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, guess I don't want to sit there and, and say yay or nay to any of this because I don't know. <laughs> but I do know like all brick is going to be super expensive. Yeah. But yeah. I'm sure they can work. <clears throat> I mean, the first step is getting together and everyone talking about it. Right. Um, as far as the land donation piece goes, I, I appreciate that. But we'll have to do a slew of legislation and all that stuff yeah. in order for that to come. Um, but you couldn't ask to partner with a better, two better organizations in Land Bank and Habitat. And like I said, now that we have all these developments coming in, this is a, a great way to just kind of counter up. Even though it's not a one-to-one -one ratio, right. it's, it's still a good step in the right direction. And ha Habitat for Humanity, they build some pretty cool homes. Yeah. And they're nice. They, they, they probably range, when they're appraised, somewhere between 150 and 2. It just depends on the location they're in, you know, mm -hmm. is what they build. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Okay, I'll get that scheduled. Thank you. All right. Anything else before we move on? Mm -hmm. All right. Motion to go again. Second. Aye, 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 Hold aye, aye, aye. Who got the first? Yes. Mr. Lindsay's your first. Second is Ms. Eggleston. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilman Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. Councilman Eggleston? Yes. Seven. We are adjourned.